So, you know all what all those spectacular things that happened, spectacular things that happened, all of that, that was preaching. Both the casting out of demons, the healing of the sick, Jesus calls them the preaching of the kingdom. The gospel of the kingdom is not in words. It is in power. You would think what he was doing was that he was teaching them something. No, he was dispensing as he was healing sicknesses, he was casting out devils. And he says, no, I will not stay. No, I must go to the other place and witness. Because witnessing is done by power. Tell your neighbor for me, witnessing is done by power. That your family that you think is an art grant, carry power, carry power, carry power. If you don't know where to find it, you have, you have got it. Yes. This is a reservoir where you can carry something strong. Enter a family. Enter a campus with such power as this. Such power that is strong. And we conquer that place. The kingdom of God will be established. There are just two scriptures I need to show you very fast. Two scriptures before the hand of God comes so strong. Psalms. Give me the book of Psalms. Give me Psalms in chapter 66. Let's read from verse 1. Quickly. Kingdom of God. stranded when they try to witness the kingdom without power. Men will be disgraced like the sons of Skiffa. They don't have power. Because when you when you begin to pray, God save my brother, save my... The troubles that you never experienced will now start coming to you. You were the one that sought for them. That prayer of salvation of souls is already warfare. You don't need to come and 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 touch the air of the devil for him to come after you know by the time you come through prayer and begin to intercede for souls begin to ask for something that is not of this world then you now begin to introduce himself to you that there is a prince of this world you now realize that men without power become stranded in the day of prophet become stranded then you quote all those scriptures none of them will work you realize that there is something that you were not taught that is a very intricate part of discipleship that sons and daughters of power will arise and like you have seen this thing is not only men evil females can carry it my friend make a joyful noise unto God all ye lands give it verse 2 sing forth the honor of his name make his glorious make his place glorious give me three say unto God how terrible are thou are thou in thy works through what through what? Shall what? Talking to that sister, that brother, that thinks life is a joke. It's not. The earlier you know it, the better. That life is a battlefield. And it's only through the greatness of thy power. When you see a young damsel finding God, groaning every day, it's because she has realized her weaknesses. That only God can be adequate for her. Very soon you will see transformation. You may not see it immediately, but just give it time. As she's groaning, Makakai, Sonatai, something is happening. That after three years, you may need to look at her and say, How did the mighty woman arise out of the enemy? It's a man of God. Then the devils that were they were amari doing all sorts of things to her. We begin to bow because it's through the greatness of thy power. That one you have is too little. It's through the greatness. You need to increase the degree until you break the elastic limits of darkness. You get to a point where demons cannot hold you captive. <laughs> Powers in your father's house. We say, please, we want to let you go. Please, please just leave us alone. All those things that is making you cry in the night, you be making them cry. Warfare mm. is for men that have found power. They have found power. They have found power. Even as you are now, forget about your neighbor. Because now, what you must seek for is power. 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 Show me some one, one, one. This is the last one. Verse one. I see a crown on your head. You are likely the firstborn of your body, but you are 
the firstborn of your family. And also some battles are happening in your life. There's even an addiction that the devil has put there to, to cripple you and keep you perpetually bound. You are here because of this. God brought you here so that you can hear me. But now you have seen me before or not. It's not a bit. It's not, it's not a, a factor now. Greatness, greatness, greatness. Psalm one one zero. One one zero verse one. Quickly. The Lord said unto my Lord, Sit thou at my right hand until I make thine enemies thy what? Verse two. The Lord shall send the rod of thy strength out of Zion with a mandate. Meanwhile, this was God the Father telling you, telling Jesus Christ to sit at the right hand, the seat of authority, until he beats down his enemy. And the way he wants to do it is to send the Holy Ghost out of Zion with a mandate of ruling over time enemies. And I've realized that we are extensions of this mandate. So far as the Holy Ghost is on the inside of you, you are to extend this mandate. Wherever your influence is, the enemies of God are there. Um, you need to rule by the Holy Ghost. Tell your neighbor for me, rule by the Holy Ghost. Uh, rule thou in the midst within the circumference. That's, you are not running away from them. You are ruling with him. When we started the previous night, I received serious battles. What you see now that you are, you are liking Oh my. It's because we had a consciousness that the enemies will not run away because we are around. In fact, because we came on the scene, they will not intensify. So we were battle prepared. Ask your neighbor, are you battle prepared? And he you said, You are the one that glorious destiny. And, and all you want is to be sleeping daily, every time of the day. My friend, your place is not that destiny. Your place is not that. We're battle conscious, battle ready, and battle prepared. There's some days I'll finish powerful meetings here and go home. Then they will come in the night. I was always ready. I learned how to pray in tongues even when moving up. It's a good thing to not have a car yet. I was very small. It's a good thing. I, I learned how to pray while on the road. As I'm getting up, I'm ready already. It is war. It's by warfare. You come and say you want to raise disciples, you want to raise destinies, and you are not prepared for war. They will cut you off. In fact, the way they will, they ask, they will not, they will not recognize you after their accident. It is war. I saw all sorts of demonic manipulation, all sorts of attack, gang up of darkness. That you know that no, there is no. Uh, is the devil that's done this? <laughs> Beyond reasonable doubt. And you that don't believe that demons exist, come and do warfare. We see them. You will, you will, you will, they will not even wait for you to sleep. They will appear to you like this. You will know that you are, you are in straight lines. It is war, my friend. It is war, serious war. So we are extensions of this. And we are going to exercise it tonight. Give me verse 3, which is where I'm going. Thy people shall what? Be willing. Where? In the day of thy power. I in the beauties of holiness from the womb of the money. That was the deal of thy youth. I will not have time for the rest. But he says that when that mandate proceeded forth, what weakens the willingness of the people is the power of God. They are, oh my. There are some people that they will never come into salvation. There are many things in their life that will be dormant until they see the man that arises by power. When they see the greatness of thy power, they will bow. A lot of souls hang on you transcending into greater power dimensions and the spirit. Close your notes near your feet. Greater dimensions of power. Greater dimensions. Greater dimensions. Oh my. Greater dimensions of power. 